Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I saw these 3D butterfly nails completely take over my Instagram feed this week and I decided that I needed to hop on that bandwagon and give them a go myself. So this video is a bit more of a common attempt with me rather than a how-to or a tutorial because I completely made it up as I went along and hoped for the best. So if you want to see me struggle through this set then keep on watching. I'm starting off with a scrap of backing paper from one of my nail forms because using this means that the butterfly will come off super easily. Then I started trying to shape a simple, small wing using my Magpie Beauty Build Me Up gel in clear. So to create the shape, I first made a small teardrop sort of shape on the backing paper and then I added a little bit extra to the brush and started gently tickling that into a second teardrop shape underneath. Once I was happy with the basic shape for the wing, I went ahead and I cured it in my lamp and then I repeated the process so that I had two. So this is how they came out after the very first step. Now, I honestly didn't expect these to come off of the backing paper so easily, but they were clearly just ready to fly from the get-go. So I had to try to hold them down and initially I started doing it with just my nail and then I moved on to using a brush while simultaneously applying another wet layer of the clear gel on top. When I had finished struggling to get the fresh layer of wet gel down onto both of the wings, I took some of this iridescent glitter and shoveled that on top with a curved silicone tool, making sure that the wings were fully covered and then I stuck it in the lamp again to cure. There's definitely better tools to use, but this was right there next to me. It had a little dip in it, so I used that rather than searching for a proper little glitter scoop. And then I went back in with another thick layer of the clear gel and that's just to make sure that the glitter is fully encapsulated and sealed in there. So it's basically a little glitter sandwich inside of my butterfly wings. I went ahead and I cured that and then I cleansed them very very carefully using my alcohol and a cotton pad because they're so tiny and delicate and I just wanted to make sure that there was no sticky residue left before I started to file them into shape a little bit better because with the application it can be a little bit messy but that's what a file is for, it's there to help you refine it and perfect it. So I started by straightening the edge that I was going to connect to the main body of the butterfly and then I just gently rounded the edges to make sure there weren't any bits of glitter poking out from the sides. To fully perfect it, you could also use your electric file to get the edges really sharp, especially where the two kind of teardrop shapes meet, which I did do off camera, but only a little bit. And you can see it's just made it a little bit more of a perfect butterfly shape. For painting the outlines of the wings, I just could not get them to stay still at all because they were so slippery on the backing paper. I hadn't expected them to slide around and I don't know why, so I ended up actually attaching them to some sellotape first before I began painting. I'm terrible at painting freehand, it's not something that I like to do, so this was actually shockingly difficult for me, even though it's not a complex design. I also don't have the right brushes for detailed work, but you really can just use what you've got to hand and that is me showing. This is maybe, I think, a brush from a one pound set that you can get on Amazon for a pack of three, so it does work. Maybe it's a little bit more messy, but there you go. So I painted the outlines first using a black gel polish and I did try to be as neat as possible but as you can see it is all over my sellotape too which doesn't matter because it's going to come off of there but it just shows you know you can have a messy process and the finishing product can still be really good. When I finished the basic outline I went back in with the black to add a little more where the polish looked a bit streaky around the edges and to put some more black towards the very tips of the wings and that is where I was going to add the white dots a bit later on in the tutorial.
When you're ready and feeling brave, you can start to draw on the veiny details of the butterfly wings. I did actually look at a picture before doing this and I noted that on the photo there was one sort of oval right in the middle and then a couple of lines coming out from that that connected to the edge. So that's what I tried to recreate. And then when it was cured, I added a layer of no wipe top coat so that I didn't have to worry about cleansing them when I take them off the tape because it's just a total pain. No wipe top coat is great if you're really lazy or you're in a rush, just throw some of that on and you're good to go. After that, I transferred them to a new piece of backing paper and began shaping the body of the butterfly using the exact same method as before and painting it in black too. I just spread the wings apart a little bit so that I could get an idea of the exact shape and length that I should go for in relation to them. Then it was time to stick it all together, so I took my gel again and added some to the edge of the wing and made a pretty poor attempt of sticking it to the body of my butterfly. I realised pretty quickly that it's so much easier to connect your wing to the body when using a set of tweezers to hold it in place under the lamp. So I did this and then I also flipped it over and added some gel to the back of the butterfly just to be sure that it was held together securely. So obviously I did that for both of the wings and I decided to move on to my hand. So to complete the look I decided a change of glitter was necessary so I quickly filed off the design that I had on my left hand. This was done very messily and I did leave some glitter on the surface but in this case it just ended up being covered anyway. I added some top coat and set that to cure before going in with another more fine iridescent glitter all over the nails. Initially I was only going to do the tips but I felt that it just looked a bit better with a full coverage of this glitter. The reason I chose this particular glitter was I felt that the iridescent colour shift because it kind of switches between pink to bluey green would complement the glitter that I'd chosen to put inside of the butterfly as well. So to finish that up, I just added my top coat that I keep specifically for when I'm adding glitter to nails and that was them ready for the butterfly to be attached. So this part was really fiddly and so slippy. But I added a bead of my gel to the nail of choice, which was my middle finger. Then I started trying to position it. Now I wanted to have it at a slight angle so I did turn my hand a few times to see it from above and from behind etc so I could check how it looked and I just kept fiddling at it even while it was in the lamp and it still had a little bit of flexibility just to make sure that I was happy with it and afterwards I went in underneath to add some more gel just to make sure that it really was stuck on securely because you can see it's sort of wobbling about a little bit because it was a little, a little on the edge from me fiddling around with it. But once I got that cured, it was on there and secure. And then my actual final step was one I completely forgot about. Now, I just couldn't figure out why my butterfly looked so sad and dull. And I felt like it was really boring. And then I realized I hadn't added the white dots and I don't know what the proper name for these is, but heck, they just brought it from not to hot for me. They made all the difference. So I took my dotting tool and I very gently added one large dot to the tips of each segment of the wings and then two smaller dots on either side and that just completed the look so perfectly. And that was my 3D butterfly look complete. So I'm not gonna lie, this did take me about two to three hours because it was a total trial and error for me and I didn't really know what I was doing and along the way I really wasn't sure if it was going to turn out well but ultimately I'm glad I kept going and for me about the last step was what actually brought the look together and made me think that I had done a good job and it made me happy but I hope that you can go out there and enjoy making some butterflies, getting some funky photos because I know that I definitely enjoyed that and if you do decide to recreate this, then please tag me so that I can see and I'll see you in my next video.